Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. I am Exorp and I have just found Muckduff. Uh, last episode where we managed to finally break this uh, wall down without the barrel exploding beforehand. And I got some random souls there. I don't know from where. Uh, anyway, one thing that happened last uh, episode was that somehow I got uh, I got a fragrant branch of yore from uh, that chest without noticing it at all, which is kind of silly. Consider you seem awfully non-hostile. What's going on with you? Yeah, so uh, I also want to. Did I have enough? Uh, have high enough stats to use this one? I do, so I should probably go on with that. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> I've been talking so long that I really re about how I really, really need some fragrant branch of sh branches of yore, and I got one, and I was too stressed out to actually pick it up uh, <laughs> or notice that I picked it up. There you go. So I think the agenda for the day is to actually head and fight the ruined sentinels. I finally picked up on what they're called. Uh, so they're the ru ruined sentinels. Um, they have some actual names as well, but those I have absolutely no idea about. Uh, of course, the uh, cool woman in a mask that was in here is called Luca Teal. I don't know why I forgot about that. Oh, yeah, let's just get on with this. It's so interesting because there are so many things... Well... There's so many things I could potentially use... Um, these, uh, these branches for. That's not these bosses. Which is strange because this feels like a critical path to me. But I guess exactly not at all. Because I only have to fight... The only mandatory boss fight here is to fight... Um, what you call the lost sinner. Uh, I don't actually have to fight ruins at most, but I do want to because that will give me access to uh, that place with the bell, with the bell gargoyles. And I'll definitely want to go there at some point. I'm not sure I'll actually fight and kill them at right away, but at some point for sure. Still in here? Okay. No, no, no. Whoa, that was awesome. The reach of this weapon was kind of nice in this place. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Where do we want to go there first? This place leads directly to the boss, I believe. Oh, this might be... Okay, I might actually get killed there. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I lucked out. I kind of figured that they would blow up the, the barrels and that would probably be a bad time for me. So, let's see here. Yeah, so this is the straightest path to the boss. Can I get to you from here? Well, I don't want to waste the durability of my weapon, I don't think. Let's head down here and open up the horrible, horrible shortcut that will surely get me killed multiple times. So yeah, Dark Souls 3 is coming out soon. And that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't actually know what I'll do at that point, because I know that I want... I'll have to uh, to play that as soon as it's released. Oh. But uh, the thing is that I really want to make a let's play of it, a blind let's play of it. Which means that I might have to 
I might have to figure something out. I might have to actually both do, um, I might have to do a, a simultaneous let's play of Dark Souls 2 while doing Dark Souls 3. Uh, this might get a bit, my schedule might get a bit weird, but that's still like t two or three weeks away, I guess. It's frustrating because I see a lot of my favorite let's players uh, starting to play uh, uh, Dark Souls 3 now and I uh it's taking all my strength not to uh, not to actually watch them but i can't I, I these games i really want to discover on my own uh it's such an amazing feeling whenever you find something completely unexpected oh, i probably shouldn't go this way i don't think that's probably a bad idea let's just run around Nah, so that's probably, I mean, the combat is really cool and satisfying and all that, but what really makes me love these games uh, is the exploration and uh, all of the little secrets and uh, weird quirks that you have to, like, figure out on your own. That stuff is, no other game really does it uh, in, in quite the same way. I'm hearing a lot of good things about uh, Salt and Sanct. Yeah, that's what it's called, right? Salt and Sanctuary. Where are, where are you going? That's the wrong way around. But there's no time. I mean, it's really strange of them to release that game so shortly uh, before before Dark Souls Three because I. I would really not want to spend that much time playing that game and then immediately immediately jumping onto Dark Souls 3. But I don't know, maybe there are people who are that hungry for, for these Souls games or these types of games, I guess. It's not purely a Souls game, Salt and Sanctuary, but it seems to be very much inspired by them. So we're heading into a boss fight and this one, I know I said it before, like, oh, I'm so unsure about the bosses. Um, I think these, we're now heading into the territory of bosses that I've only actually fought the the one time. Like, I fought them until I killed them, my first time through, of course. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see how things uh, go from here on out. That being said, nothing else to do but to head right in. I think the spear is actually like terrible uh, for these, uh, these bosses, but yeah, it should be okay. Oh! No, this is not good. Please tell me the other ones aren't attacking just yet. I don't know which way you're gonna actually jump up. Okay, cool. This is like, the first sentinel is kind of like practice against the, uh, the other ones. Because it gets kind of crazy when the other ones joins, the other ones joins in. The other ones join in. What, what am I talking about? I'm kind of stressed out right now. Of course. But at least I'm gonna kill this guy. It shouldn't be a problem. There you go, and now the other ones are coming for me. And I think I'm gonna try to hold out here for as long as possible. Um, but that probably are not gonna be for too long. Hey you! Oh, didn't expect you. Okay, I think it might be time to get the fuck out of here. Is it? Oh, cool. Hey, you. Okay, time to get down. So, alright. 
I really hate this fight. I honestly have like no idea of how to dodge that those attacks. Oh, and I really don't like being in that kind of position. Alright. I think we're kind of good. For the moment. Like... Ah! Need to keep them all at the same point. In the same... Blah, on the screen at the same point. At the same time. I can't speak. Alright. Come at me. I don't know who's who. But... Oh, that was a bad call. Oh, okay. Whew. Right. Wanna... Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. Jesus! Ah, oh, that's annoying. Okay. Running back. Alright, I might as well keep this part. Uh, I just uh, changed my equipment a bit. Uh, changed uh, to the life ring just to get slightly more HP. And the ring of binding just to get slightly more... HP <laughs> um, to survive for a bit longer, perhaps. The main reason or I might as well get rid of those. Um, I don't know if maybe this is actually would actually be a good thing to use. Uh, nah, well, we we'll, might try to use this at a later point. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, they, I exchanged them for some stuff that I probably won't be useful in the in the fight. The uh, one that caused me to cast spells faster, and uh, the uh, what's it called? The covetous uh, silver serpent ring, which I'm not gonna bother too much with souls at this moment. So I'm gonna try now to make a run for it, and I'll probably die on the way, but this is just, just a test. <laughs> just a test run. Whoa! Okay, that's not how you do it, I guess. <sighs> okay, I mean, I gotta have to try that until I figure it out. <laughs> nope. Huh. I might have to actually jump. Yeah, that works. It was actually coming for me, okay. Let's just... That, this should probably be okay, alright. As long as those guys won't actually get to me before I get to the other side. But, alright, cool. There's a... A start, at least. Alright, let's keep an eye on you. As I try to locate where you're jumping up. I'm guessing you're gonna jump up there, as usual, but I just wanna make sure. So like, one on one, these guys are actually fairly easy to predict and dodge. As I say, just as I managed to get hit by one, but... Uh, <laughs> it gets a bit troublesome once, uh, once you have to fight two at the same time. I mean, I'm not even sure it actually helps in any way to to try to fight them up here. I just feel more... It feels like it's easier to keep them both at the, uh, at the screen at the same time. I might just 
be making that up, but that's the way it feels. But at the same time, might as well jump down. <laughs> Alright, let's see what you got for me now. It's strange, but because at some point they try usually throw their shields away, which actually made the fight easier. And I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that. But I like it. Uh. Oh god, they're not really letting me do anything. Oh god, I can't get them both on the screen at the same time now. And that's probably a bad thing for me. Alright, cool. Ah! Just stay on the screen! Whoa! That was a very long jump. <laughs> God damn it! I'm doing terribly at the moment. And I can for the life of me keep you keep them on the screen. Ooh, let me dodge, god damn it. Combos are just evil. Oh, okay, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not. Okay, cool. But, yeah. Oh, god damn it. Bad, bad time for me. Ugh. I don't know when a good time to heal is with these guys. I just don't. Ugh. Nope. Okay, I need to learn to aim, but it's uh... Maybe I should actually try to kill these enemies before I try to jump. Because that's probably just getting me... Probably just taking more time than it has to do... Has to. Yeah, there are definitely like attacks. It just doesn't do when I'm uh, uh, when I'm downstairs, which. Also, oh shit, hope I'm not going to- Okay, I'm gonna have to fight all of them at the same time and this is just not gonna work. Well, alright. Nice meeting you. What was it? Did one of them wait? No, they're all down here at the same time. That's just inhumane. <laughs> alright. Dead again. Indeed I am. <laughs> okay, attempt four, I think. But it's good, it let me train my practice my timing a bit against the easier attacks. But man, I wish there was a way to just fight them all up here forever. As long as I can keep them up here, might be- oh, and- whoa! 
Why did I say that? Why did I say that? Ooh, yeah, let's just scroll down. Oh, am I? Whoa, I didn't even know you could die like that. Okay, that's the first time that ever happened. That's just evil. How many attempts is this gonna take, you think? I don't, I don't even, can't even count how many attempts I'm at right now. Uh, my heart is beating like a drum. But it's annoying that the first attempt is still my best one. <laughs> I think that was the first one that uh, where I almost got them all down to... I don't know exactly how well it went, but... It felt like it went pretty well, and I thought maybe I'll kill them on my first try, and then, and then this happened. <laughs> well, I'm kind of wondering if the battle is actually tuned for fighting all three of them at the same time, because that seems absolutely crazy to me. Of course, I never even tried, but like honestly, I can't imagine doing that. Yeah, jump down. Whoa, not that way. Okay. Whoa, I did not think I would be able to heal there. <laughs> like, at all. What was that even? Oh my god, am I going to die now? Because if I do, I'm gonna be very very sad. I did not expect this to be a viable strategy, but I guess they start using those... Uh, those floor attacks. Oh, thank you, thank you! I guess he has to kind of start using them um, after a while, fighting up here. But still, this is a much nicer play to... ...to fight you guys. Alright, so where are you going? Up here? Alright. Whoa! Jesus! Okay, thank you. <laughs> I felt felt like I dodged that uh, attack, but I guess not. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's heal again. This is my last heal, so let's make it count. Not getting greedy, not getting greedy. Ooh. That feels nice. Man. It's been a long time since Dark Souls gave me that feeling and I'm very, very happy now. My heart is just pounding. I got adre adrenaline pumping in my blood like crazy <laughs> so all right let's uh, let's secure this victory by getting to the uh, bonfire first of all i know there are some secrets out here but i think we might want to do that in the next episode actually
Uh, though this one I might as well open up right away. Oh, what's there enemies on here? I kind of feel like there were. And I don't know if I already attacked this while attacking that guy, so I'm gonna just gonna open it and hope it's not a mimic. So, like at this point, it's a bit of bit of a whatever. <laughs> if I die now, then I'll have a fairly easy time getting back here, and I'm just happy to be alive. Or I'm rather, I'm just happy that uh, that uh, the ruined sentinels are dead. You still think? Well, you seem to be a thing, but maybe you don't explode quite as easily. Or maybe you always exploded this way. Whatever. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, bonfire time. Thank God. And with that, I'm going to leave you for now. So thank you for watching. And I hope to see you next time on Dark Souls 2. Bye-bye.